right, today we're revisiting the physio lunge and I'm going to go through some extra tips that I've found along the way along with uh, a lot of exercises to regress the physio lunge. So a lot of people tell me that, you know, oh, when, I do, when I do your physio lunge I'm getting some knee pain, some anterior knee pain. Now, the way to fix that is to try and do a regression, which is, means the knee doesn't come so far forward. And I'll go through the tips and tricks with that. But before we do that, when you're doing a physio lunge, just make sure like you're parallel here. So when you come back, you're not coming too close. You're nice and parallel. Now the trick is with the knee, I see too many knees sort of rolling in when you do this exercise. So you've got to make sure to try and keep your knee in line with your foot and your hip. Just aim for the middle of the kneecap to be on the outside of the big toe. And there's the middle of the foot. So if you go into a physio lunge and you can see your knee coming over your big toe, it's actually internally rotating in, okay, or causing a valgus stress. So you need to make sure that knee is out. I don't mean silly and out here, but when you lunge down, you should be able to still see your big toe when you come forward, all right? And that means you're in, in line and good position there. Um, and the other thing too is make sure you don't drop your hips. A lot of people drop down, drop that bottom knee, and then they're out of a pelvic alignment. Remember, your core and your spine has to stay in neutral. And I just don't mean, I don't just mean neutral this way, I mean neutral that way as well. So if you're dropping down, it means you can't maintain a neutral spine, and the load through there is no good for your spine, let alone your knee, all right? Now, when the physio lunge goes this way, when you come down, a little tip for you, when you come down into the lunge, that's fine. Now, to try and get some more posterior train work or some glute work, think about pushing the ground away from you. Okay, so when you come down, down into here, and then push the ground away from you, and you'll activate a lot more work in the glute, which is what we need for that exercise, which helps you do the exercise, puts less demand on the knee. Now, for those people who's who they get a bit of knee pain because their knee travels forward, all right, um, or they're recovering from surgery, or they've got some patellofemoral wear and tear, like that cartilage inflammation or cracking through the cartilage that they might have been diagnosed for, and they need to get their VMO up, and they need to get some strengthening going, they can still do this exercise, but regress it. So instead of, if I go with this, instead of lunging forward and letting that knee travel forward so all my angles are forward, I will leave that knee where it is, I'll still drop down, so I'll still have my back leg coming forward and my upper body coming forward, so I'm still bending here, but I'm not letting the knee travel forward. So what it looks like is, you come down and forward like that. Okay, so I'm still trying to get as much movement out of the hip as possible, but I'm trying to limit how much knee movement comes forward to look after the knee until that knee gets slowly better. So when that knee recovers, I get more VMO, the inflammation settles down, or the, it, the soft tissues, the hard tissues recover in that knee over a long period of time, I can slowly get that knee traveling further and further and further forward until it ends up like a normal physio lunge. Now, some people say, oh, you shouldn't let your knee come forward over your toes. Well, normally, when you do a squat, of course your knee comes over your toes. So if you look at this position here, when I come down into a physio lunge, it's exactly the same position as I should be in a squat anyway. So it's in this position here where I should be in a squat. So there's no difference in my knee position or my hip position to an actual normal squat position, okay? So when you look at it that way, if my knee traveling forward is the same as a squat, it's absolutely fine. And if anything, it's half the load of the other leg, okay? You've just got to make sure that you're not putting weight through the back leg. So People usually complain about knee at the back leg because when they come down, they load back through here too much and they get knee pain in the back. So that's why we try and get them low going forward. And it actually helps you with that squat position. It helps you learn how to get your angles of your knee and your back the same to help you with a normal squat. So it's a good way of improving your squat when you get to that point where you can squat. Okay.